Welcome to the History Lord. You join me at Wimbledon. Um, the tennis championships. There's a bit of a break of play at the moment. So I thought while there was, I'd stop by this court here, court 18, which is the site of the longest tennis match in history. Let me tell you all about it. Welcome to London. The previous longest tennis match in history was at the 2004 French Open with the first round match that lasted 6 hours and 33 minutes. Six years later, this time at Wimbledon, another first round match was to become the longest in history. The match between 23rd seed John Isner and qualifier Nicolas Mahou began at 6.13pm on Tuesday 22nd of June 2010. The first four sets of the five-set match were played on this day. It was a fairly close contest with the third and fourth set going to a tie-break. Before the start of the fifth set, play was suspended to the next day due to fading light. This in itself is not unusual at Wimbledon and everyone expected a fifth set to be played and finished on the Wednesday. The players came back at 2.05pm the next day, but a winner of the match would not be decided until the next day. If you're not aware of the rules of tennis, let me explain why this match became the longest in history. To win a set in tennis, a player needs to win six games. You must be two games clear, so if the score reaches 5-all, a player must win the next two games to win the set 7-5. If the score reaches 6-all, a tie-break game is played. However, traditionally, in the fifth set of a five-set game, no tie-break game is played. The set continues until one of the players wins by two clear games. The match reached the score of 59 all in the fifth set when the match was suspended a second time because of fading light. The spectators chanting for more. The match had already become the longest in history by this point. The courtside scoreboard stood still at 47-47. The IBM programmers had only programmed it to go this far and worked late into the night to provide a fix for the next day. Had the match gone on beyond 25 more games, the scoreboard would have malfunctioned again. Once again, the match was resumed the next day. After 67 minutes of play on the third day, Isner won the deciding final set 70-68. to The entire match over the three days, it lasted 11 hours and 5 minutes. The players were both recognised with a special crystal bowl after the game and both won the 2010 ESPY Award for the best record-breaking performance, beating both Roger Federer and Usain Bolt. In 2018, John Isner played in another marathon match at Wimbledon in the semi-finals against Kevin Anderson, in which the fifth set score reached 26-24, lasting 6 hours and 36 minutes. The All England Club announced that Wimbledon would be introducing a rule change in which tie breaks are played if the final set reaches 12 all. Therefore, unless the rules are changed again in the future, Isner and Mahu's match will always be the longest match in Wimbledon history. Thank you very much for watching today. If you do like the video, then please do subscribe and click the notification bell to see when we upload new videos. If you want to find out what we do outside of these videos, then please go to historylord.co.uk to find out about Lord Hume's walking tours of London and check out the description below to see about my YouTube channel, Last Line Films. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you very soon.